Today's verse comes to us from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. They are very simple. They say this, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. I see a lot of relationships. I'm in a lot of relationships. I have seven kids. One of my kids is married, so we have an eighth kid. I am married myself to the nicest guy in the universe. I have a lot of girlfriends who I adore. I have work relationships. I have a large family. I have three brothers and a sister. My sister's married. My brother's married. I have my parents. I have my husband and his family. His family is really big. So many people, so many relationships. There's so many things. And I would say the thing that I see the most breakdown in relationships is a lack of grace and a lack of understanding. And God has given us grace, not because we deserve it, right? Like grace itself is getting something you don't deserve, right? We don't even deserve grace and he gives it to us. It's amazing. And I think it's easy for us to receive these things, these good things, God give us grace, but then we don't give it out. We don't give grace back. And we need to, because I just see so many broken people, so many sad, lonely people because of a lack of grace and understanding and desire to like work things out. So today, friends, if you are struggling with relationships, if you're struggling with people, think, is it because, I'm sorry, I shook the table. Is it because you are not giving them grace? Is it because you have a problem with receiving grace from God, receiving grace from others, and then, Hopefully you can fix that issue and then you can be a conduit of the grace and give grace out to those around you because everyone around us needs more grace. And here's an extra bonus. Are you gracious back to God? Do you look at your life and the circumstances that you're in and think, why is this happening? Why is this awful? Why is God doing this to me? Is he punishing me? There are a plethora of reasons why we might be in a hard situation, in a hard season, and none of those reasons is because God hates you or that he's mean or I don't know. That's not who God is. When we can see other people's hearts and forgive them and say, oh man, this person said this, but they didn't mean it that way. I heard it that way and they didn't mean it that way. I can give them grace, right? And so we give others grace, but do we give grace back to God? Do we look at him and our situations and just say, you are the worst. You're so mean. Why are you doing this to me? Let's not do that, guys. Let's remember God's heart. God loves us. He has given us grace. He has even given us faith in him. All of these are beautiful gifts that we don't deserve. We cannot boast in them. So let us go back and think really hard. God, I need help with my relationships. I even need help with my relationship with you. And that's the one that God wants to answer all the time. He wants to help us in our relationships and he wants us to walk closer to him. So let's come before him today with grace and open arms and humility. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for loving me, even though sometimes I'm mighty hard to love. And God, I pray that I would be, and those who are praying here with me, that we would all be conduits of your grace and your goodness in this hard, broken, fallen world. And we all need more grace. Everyone around us needs more grace. So help us to be a light and to share that grace with those who are hurting the most. God, you are so good. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for giving us things that we surely do not deserve. We love you so much. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.